Welcome back guys to a new video. Now today's video is going to be about the brand new patch notes that did come out for the PC version 262 and all of this in the update as I read through it guys will be coming out with the console update as well. I'm going to be starting obviously on the PC patch notes which explains everything that did come out of version 262 and also I'll be talking about the console because they'll be getting everything in this update and there's going to be a little bit I want to talk about before I get into this as well. Now if you guys do enjoy this video and if you wouldn't mind dropping a like that would be brilliant guys it really does help me out and also if you could subscribe to the channel that would be fantastic too because we're getting so close now to 46,000 subscribers and then that's building closer and closer to that big 50k which is just unbelievable. So thank you all for that. But anyway, let's just get straight with this video talking about the PC patch notes with what came out of the update and the console too. Now also, I just wanted to say this might be a little bit, quite a long video because lots came out, but you know, it's going to be really informative for you guys and I know it'll help you out a lot. So before I talk about the patch notes, I'm just going to be saying, so there was obviously an update, it doesn't say on the patch notes that's meant to be coming out for the Xbox, and as well, there's been an update waiting for PS4 players for a long time too. Now if you didn't know, obviously, which most of you will, two days ago, it was this P PS4 update was meant to actually come out, but what I'm actually thinking is going to happen right now with the Xbox and PS4 is Everything that is happening on the, on the PC right now, obviously even just the just being released version 262, is just going to come as one big update. Now, I'm thinking, you know, they might just bring at Ragnarok and, you know, out, out with the Xbox as well, with all of the updates they've missed out for console, and just make it into one big update on July the 19th. Now, that is obviously just a theory that I've come up with. It might not be true, but it does kind of make sense because, obviously, the, the console updates are meant to be out within the next few days, and obviously July the 19th, is only five days away so I'm thinking there's a big chance that it could be coming out all as one big update but anyway that's just my theory I thought I'd let you guys know see what you think about that but anyway let's get in with patch version 262 explain everything that did come out which will be coming out for the console as well so the first thing is the center and PGMs now use the islands alpha spawner arrays the center lightning light flashes now uh, light flashes now stop after it has rained. New achievement: the center guardian's achievement for defeating its bosses. So that will probably be something similar for the for the console as well. Dragon boss no longer present on the center. Uh, center boss damage reduced by 33% versus the island bosses. Fixed bosses so they no longer have random levels, but will scale correctly on game and server difficulty. Primitive plots, Patchy Rhino and Listrio, uh, well, Listro is are now tameable with bug repellent and rare flowers, respectively. Uh, primitive plus is obviously these next ones are primitive plus. Primitive um, pick. Axe and torch should now now persist after logging out. So obviously that will they'll carry on after logging out. Battle axe and Viking axe blueprints now work in the grindstone. Crash fix for flying over an explorer note. So that is everything that's going to be going on with primitive plus right there. So no longer crash if generating a PGM map after loading the island. Improved the center the center lava, which has just made it look much better. The Trudon food has increased. Sounds have been added to the UI um, radio menu. The implant has been locked onto the first slot of inventories. So that's basically, you know, your inventory onto the first slot. That's just going to be, you know, probably quite... I mean, they, they might mean that there's going to be something to do with the implant from now on. Maybe that's a reason why they've locked it onto the first slot. But, you know, having more slots, free slots is obviously very useful. But it's going to be interesting to find out what more is going to be coming out with the implant. With obviously Ascension and stuff. Leeches have added to the uh, have have been added to the swamp cave. Significantly reduced the amount of um, arthropods in the swamp cave. Improved move to attack trays should be easier to select smaller targets now. When teleporting to a player position via tether, the teleporter now gained a t plus two Z offset. Um, stone pick um, melee attacking while running no longer stops the running toggle on the controller. Volume of crouch prone in and out increased by 40%. Uh, PGM no longer, uh, well, obviously, uh, um, maybe, I think they've done that right, after an initial generation. New um, commands to see where dinos are when hibernated, as well as teleport to the nearest hibernated creature, which is obviously, you can also use the cheat, which is, uh, if you want to pause the video and read it here if you want to do that. 
fixed a potential lighting issue when leaving the Broodmother Arena, um, fixed some super bright water reflections, increased the capsule size of the, uh, the Pteranodon to make sure it can fit through player sized door frames, fixed character creation screen cursor not displaying in Primitive Plus, improved Trudon low poly, um, the the center has has an obelisk uh, sounds like the, uh, the exactly as the island does no longer missing the option to delete individual player dedicated saves for maps placement rotation indicator now appears with a controller fix a case where right trigger would punch forever pressing B on the controller when you have a, a combo box will now result in canceling it which is obviously, you know, that could be quite... You, I think that actually is a pretty good thing to be added in there because I know I've heard about problems with that. Correctly focusing on engrams when tabbing between engram and inventory UI. Um, a, a whole bunch of split-screen bugs were resolved uh, because I know split-screen has not been great at the moment. Fix the case where the UI would focus drop all, um, would focus drop all after placing an item into the quick slot. Fix the fog of war exploit in SP. Fix ATV not saving in the game. Um, R and SG commands no longer work in console shipping environments. ATV RB should toggle uh, should toggle first person when riding a dino. RT should honk horn. Now it's actually seeming that a lot of this stuff is being based around the console, which is interesting. Which you know is making it more interesting because a lot of the buttons usually is what PC say, but maybe they're talking about it using a controller on the PC. But you know you never know. It's going to be similar it's exactly the same as console but it's easier for you guys if you're watching this for console to understand you know what controls to use fix the case where megalena could not climb destructible rocks perhaps just on console question mark so if this you know this this is now being fixed if it is, was on the pc as well um fpv hands now enter a special dragging pose when dragging a body uh, which is probably going to be some sort of you know some sort of like to make it look realistic when it's dragging a body when there are no additional um when there are no additional element items to load in a weapon tech rifle icon should say zero percent uh, you know basically instead of saying you know what it says right there on the screen torches on dino saddles now scare away trudons fix the case where corpse locator did not work reliably while underwater Fixed an issue where certain engrams weren't learnable, e.g. the the campfire. So if you have been having problems with that, that's now fixed. Remove difficulty strings from PGM spawn points. Fix the case where extended player HUD label for tribes would be cut off. 25 more element to build the tech generator. Safari hat and thorny dragon skins and parasol saddle can be dropped like all other skins. Silent, um, silent, uh, slightly louder, not silent, it's a slightly louder and farther um, a death sound for humans, uh, which is going to be interesting to hear what that sounds like. We now display dino entry icon next to you have tamed notification. Uh, reduce dolphin tame speed by 15%. Fix the issue with low quality beaver dams. Night vision goggles drain 20% slower and so they last longer. Tech rifle and explosive damage foliage. Um, increase explorer note unlocked volume by five, uh, five percent. No longer play time trans uh, transitions when the player has no spawn. Um, added special corner icon on skin items to tell them that apart from you know to tell the difference between them and them and regular items. Attaching quality torches to saddles no longer converts them into primitive quality when the durability runs out. Fix the case where remote inventories were not transferring to the appropriate folder. Giggers are no longer able to gather wood by eating snow trees in the snow biome. Fix cave spawns on the center. Accessing a beehive no longer provides health. Um, LT and RT functionality swapped for painting. Boss arena teleporter pads and obelisk pads are correctly colorized. Um, so obviously the color of them is now fixed. Obelisk laser beam is now aligned with the terminal center. Um, sand looks darker, wetter and shinier when appropriate, more for console. Um, rain VFX has been improved not, uh, not to be so close to the camera and now appears no matter how fast you go. Um, cave lighting improved on Kano Island. Tech, um, tech jetpack super boost takeoff sound has been changed to make it sound more like a jetpack. Um, remove the drop shadow from the right HUD icons. Um, host sesh UI delete, uh, basically delete random generated arc button needs to have a conf confirmation dialog. Um, change title on tame groups panel to tame ordering groups and now will display an asterisk next to the um, active groups button label text. 
Um, double tap X on the controller to activate a weapon is now indicated on the options control gamepad. Um, fixed case where some loading tips would be cut off. Uh, tribe log increased on console. Um, now buttons which are selected appear brighter on the menu's help menu. Um, engram labels text are not modulating by the UI panel alpha. Um, so basically they're not fading out with the rest of the UI. When you will already have a survivor, um, there is a confirmation dialogue for where you can create a new size sense create a new survivor saying warning so obviously before it was a warning you didn't but this warning this will pre uh, destroy your previous survivor are you sure you was to proceed which is just a you know a perfect thing for any professional you know real game that's out in the shops and they need something like that just in case someone presses something by accident fix the case where the number of empty blank spots in storage boxes are inaccurate and um inaccurate so i can never say that properly when you have a filter enabled such as a search filter or folder uh, filter center burnt uh, tree LODs have been improved improved LODs for various trees twigs branches and stumps and more um, fix the case where female face texture may have been low have had been a lower a res perhaps only on console but if it is on the PC as well that's been fixed um, the level up animation on the mammoth no longer causes the player to become a gymnast um, dolphins don't spawn in underwater caves Fixed case where the alpha bus w a buff wouldn't display on underwater creatures. Improved LODs for woolly rhino, beaver, camel, um, Ichionis, Deodon, which is obviously the pig, stag, and sheep. Take a uh, tech tape jar or saddle now has a torch socket. Um, made sure the center prevents flyers in its key caves. Element um, eliminated any Bigfoot ground shakes. The center now has um, a combat biome appropriate music like the island. Uh, the center has a wind and ambience FFX sound in the boss arena. Wild beehives are no longer affected by structure resistance multiplier. The UT um, now has a faster rotation rate when in a melee attacks. See for the, you know, exactly the same as a Rex. Tech cave purblovers now have a 65% chance to be underground. Previously, it was 50%. Why would Itchies now have a 20 second delay on its attack, you know, on its theft attack and a 2500 radius for targeting a player or tame after it's found you? Um, after Alpha Ascension, you should have access to the uh, Rex Biome skin after defeating the center end bosses or any difficulty, you should have access to the Giga Biome skin. Uh, Wyverns or Wyverns should now teleport to the Manticore Arena. Female now have a status um, su um, suffocation and enter and basically suffocation leave sounds. So basically, when you start suffocating, um, the when you enter that and leave it, it will ha now have sounds. Uh, boss arena cooldowns are eliminated in single player. There is now um, a this weapon cannot be used here. Prevention volume HUD notification in appropriate areas, e.g. boss arenas. There is now a 25% chance of fog with any rain. More eels, trilobites, and bait, and and those ones I can never say, but obviously the little things on the bottom of the ground in underwater and overworld. So there's more of them now. Decrease implant open and close volume by 20%. Reduce sling fire uh, volume by 10%. Polar bear aggro range in ice cave should now be increased to something similar to other hostile creatures in there. Remove non-iceberg penguin spawns on the island. Um, reduce targeting range of AI in both water, underwater caves by 50% and reduce spawn quality, uh, quantity in hard cave um, specifically by 33%. Also eels in hard cave now spawn in groups of 2 not 6. Baby wyverns or wyverns no longer consume too much milk. Analog stick panning of 3D painting preview is no longer step based. Um, fixed case where gorilla LOD would be low on fur um, or low bait or slash fur would vanish, uh, vanish from a distance. Um, moved any explorer notes previously found in tech cave as a gauntlet dungeon and can be distracting for players. Gorilla boss punch sound adjusted. Pego, um, while well, the Pego at attack FBX is no longer vicious sounding. Um, o -O -P -O -R -P Dino should no longer have AIs. Uh, should no longer should no longer have AIs. That and, and obviously this is used a lot in bot in the boss fights. Sorry about that, guys. Um, a fixed a case where the center would not have um, basically a, some sort of fog around it. Um, SP no longer has a massive slowdown until respawn uh, respawn spawning when suiciding. Um, pressure pre. Uh, pressing right bumper with a controller with the transponder uh, node weapon equipped should be set the frequency equivalent to pressing N on the keyboard. Um, 
basically like that. Um, Hesbornis no longer teleports slash pops up back to the surface after dying. Um, after diving, sorry. Increased return from boss teleport spawn spread. Um, the, the center night has been made darker. Well, that's going to be interesting. Um, hair grows 20% slower. Transfer all sound increased by 33%. Minimum draw distance increased by 10%. If there is no inventory or harvesting component on a corpse, it will no longer display in the fact of the name is obviously that name of, of anyone's name is dead. Um, dragon player spawn adjust, adjusted slightly. Fix the case where wandering fish would cluster in the corner. FPS no longer dips when you're painting yourself. And all hub UI will be auto closed when no, when no pl player or well, player character was obviously w w when there is no player character in general. But anyway, guys, everything I've just read through there. These videos are always quite interesting to read through, and I know you guys do like them. They're very very long for me to record, but obviously you know I love bringing you this information because there's so much to come out, and even the littlest things people can miss out. So obviously making a whole video for me is very very important for you guys. So if you did enjoy this video, if you wouldn't mind dropping a like, that'd be great. If you wouldn't mind subscribing, if you're new to the channel too, that'd be amazing. So obviously the PC version 262, all of that is now released. And with the Xbox and PS4, my theory is July the 19th, you guys should be seeing this update. And that is when I'm hoping this is going to be released. But anyway, guys, if you'd also like to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, the links are always in the description down below for so much more, guys. And, this, they, you know, there's just so much information on there. If you do want more of that, links, my links will be in the description down below. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in a video very soon. See you guys later, and I hope you did enjoy.